All right, hey guys, this is Pat Reelman. We're recording this thing live. Uh, for those of you that, uh, that don't know what network marketing or is or relationship marketing, this is, that, this is basically Beachbody, the coaching opportunity, is a type of network marketing or relation, relational marketing, which is basically what this is, you know, just building relationships with other people and finding people that want to join you in, in this business opportunity. So that, that's what today's call is. It's 16 points as to why relational marketing or network marketing and Beachbody in particular is the best thing out there, better than any other business opportunity, better, better than any other you know, nine to five job out there. So this is something that you want to definitely take notes um, for these 16 points so that you can sit down with any business owner, any coworker, any family or friend and kind of go through these 16 points and compare them to you know, what that person does for a living. Um, so I was going to try to do the, the points myself, but I think I'd be doing a disservice because uh, the recording that, that I listened to, this, it's two years old. His name's Craig Holiday, and uh, I remember this from two years ago. That's how good it was. Um, so I'm going to play that for you. It's about 29 minutes, so you guys that, if, that if, uh, need to hop off at any time, just drop off. If you guys can stick around to the end, we're going to do it. We'll have a little discussion and, and uh, ask questions and things like that at the end. And also feel free to post questions on the uh, chat bar down below during the call. But I'm going to get this thing started, get the pen and paper ready, because this is stuff is pretty powerful. Today our topic is why relational marketing. And what I want to, what I want to do is I want to give you guys some fuel. And what the fuel is going to be is I'm going to give you 16 points of why this is the finest business that you can be in in this country today. And what I want you to do is be able to take notes, utilize this, and be able to sit down with anybody you know that owns their own business and say, hey, let me compare your business to my business, one through 16. And what you're going to find, and after being a business owner myself for a number of years, I owned a large construction company for a lot of years. Once I looked at relational marketing and understood the power of it, I realized that there was nothing that could touch it. Nothing could take its place. Nothing could, could build as fast and as strong and as powerful a business that offered time and money together as this type of business. And so one of the things I want you to do today is I want you to walk away from this call confirmed in your mind that you're in the finest business you could possibly be in. And then secondly, you're obviously in the finest company you could possibly be in because you know we're seeing ballistic growth right now in Beachbody. And, you know, we are just at a place right now where we are ready for a quantum leap. And, you know, a lot of it has to do with your ownership of your life and your own personal business. You know, your individual volume is runs what runs the millions of dollars of volume of this company. If it wasn't for you as the individual, you with a dream, you with a goal, you with your hopes, you with the DNA out there that determined national ambition, you with the passion, this business wouldn't grow. And we understand that. So I just want you to, number one, we want to go through today and realize why this business is so powerful, why that there's nothing that can take its place. And and then secondly, understand why this company, Beachbody, is time and place. It's a, it's a business whose, it's a business whose time has come. I believe we have a destiny here in the next you know, five years to do billions of dollars in volume and literally change the lives of thousands and millions of people. And I'm convinced of that. I saw that in my business, and we didn't come close to the type of products and the type of passion and the mission-driven statement that Carl drives in this company. So let's get started today and look at this. All right, we're going to go through points one through 16. And again, I want you to take notes because I want you to be able to sit down with people, again, that are business owners. This is a great, this is going to be a great tool for you to match up with them that own their own business. Point number one, network marketing creates a playing, a level playing field. Everybody gets in this business and starts at the same place. The powerful part of that is if you sit down and show this business to someone, you don't ask them what their resume looks like. You don't ask them what their background is. You don't ask them if they have experience in a business like this. You say, where do you want to go? What do you want? When do you want it? And so this business immediately, whether you're a truck driver, a doctor, it doesn't matter what your profession is. You get in this business with no past experience and you start at ground level zero, which is zero people sponsored, zero volume, and you get to build your business from there. So for all of us that get in, we start at the same place. You know, it's, there's no special deal. There's no special cut. There's no special thing people get. We all start at zero sponsored and zero people. The greatest part of that is that it doesn't matter when you get in. You know, it doesn't matter whether you know people. It just matters one thing. Do you want to build a dream? Do you want to build a business? So it creates an equal playing field for everybody that gets in. Nobody gets special deals. 
I loved that when I got in my business in network marketing because I realized that, hey, we all get started at the same spot, then I can build as big as I want. I can build as big a business and as, and as much income as I want to build. And so for anybody that gets started in this business, it, you know, it doesn't matter what their background is. I had truck drivers blow my business away. I had people that were laborers blow my business away. I had doctors blow my business away. So one of the, the most powerful parts of this business is it creates an equal playing field. Now, most businesses out there today, that's not true about it. You know, you've got to get an advantage to get started. You've got to get the right location. You've got to get the right product. You've got to get, there's so many factors involved. In our business, it's just one thing. Do I want to sign up? Do I want to get my birth date? That's the day I sign up in this business. And then what comes second is it's an equal playing field. How big do you want to build? How fast do you want to build? Here's the opportunity. What do you want to do with it? Point number two, little investment to start. This is a huge one. Ask anybody you know that owns a business and ask them how much money it costs them to start their business. When I started my construction business, I was working for someone else, decided to start my own company. It cost me $150,000 to buy trucks and power cords and power tools and, and levels and, and all the things it takes to build a business. So there was the, the investment getting started was huge. That's why, do you know that most people today, if you ask 10 people on the street, do you want to own your own business? Do you have, Nine out of 10 of them would say, absolutely. Then why don't you do it? I don't have the money to get started. You know, whether they want to own a restaurant or whether they want to own a cleaners or whether they want to own a landscape company, whatever it is, they don't have the money to get started in business. So they turn around, they get sad, they go back to their job and they work there for the next 35, 40 years. Our business competes compared to anything else out there, we start for $39.95. If you jump in and get a diamond pack and you decide to really go after it and you're gonna, you're gonna build this thing fast and build it big, maybe you spend $1,000 to get started in a business. Oh my gosh, I got started in my business in 1979 for $69.95. I had a seven figure income within seven years. Where can you do that in business today? You cannot do that. So the little investment to start this business is, is it's almost a joke. And so for anybody out there, if you sit down with anybody and ask them, what did it cost you to start your business? And then here's what it cost me to start my business. That's the power of relational marketing. It's not a large investment to get started. It's an investment of your life and your time and your dream. That's what's going to drive your business, not how much money you spend to get started in a business. And, and Carl and this company has kept that investment to get started at a relatively small amount of money. In fact, it's like I said, it's insignificant amount. You know, I had a guy the other day, he said, I don't think I have $39.95 to get started. I said, buddy, you've been working in a job for 20 years. If you don't have $39.95 to start this business, you better get started because after 20 years working a job, you can't put $40 together. That's a perfect reason to build your business. So point number two, there's little investment to start this business in relational marketing. Number three, I love this one. It depends only on you. It depends on you. You know, so many times we gotta, you know, we, we've gotta try to figure out, you know, does this person like me? How do I get to know people? Can I network enough people to help me get somebody, get my, my business started? Who do I know out there that can help me open doors to start my business? So we always are looking for other people to be able to help us grow our business. In this business, it depends on you. You decide the day you get in network marketing. When I got in the business, I decided the day I got in, I'm gonna build a multi-million dollar business. You know, I, I, nobody was gonna keep me from doing that. I knew if I could go out and find 12, 15, 20 people that were just like me, that were excited about life and fired up about life, I knew if I could go out and find people like that that had dreams that we could pull down from the attic and get them out and get them excited about in their life again, I knew I could find enough people that would drive my business. And eventually I had you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people in the downline that started just by me with a dream. But it was starting with me of being out each day and showing the business to people and sharing my life and sharing my dream with people. So it does depend on you. That's why I always talk about owning your life. You've got to own your business. This is not, you don't work for Beachbody. You work for yourself. You, you're the CEO of that company. You own that company. It depends on you. What kind of decisions are you making about your business in the next six months? What are you deciding? How big are you deciding to grow your business? What, what significant income do you want to have in the next six to eight months? Those are decisions we make. When you're in a job, you don't make those decisions. Your boss tells you how much money you're going to make, when you go on vacation, when you, you know, how many days a month of vacation you've got or days a year. All those things are decided for you. You get in relational marketing, you start your own company for a relatively small amount of money with an equal playing field, and it depends upon what are you willing to do. How fast do you want to grow? And so that's why I always tell people, those of you sitting on this call today, no matter where you are in the country, you are exactly where you should be in this business right now from the decisions you've made and what you've done. And so for some of you, if that, if that seems disappointing, you know what's exciting? Then change it. Make a difference, change, all of a sudden decide, I'm drawing the line today, I'm done messing around with this business. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna change it. And we all have the power to do that because this business depends on you. I love that. Look in the mirror, 
point at yourself and say, I want to bet on you. If you can do that, you'll build a business. Point number four, there's an immediate mentorship program. You've got people in your upline, your sponsor, your upline, your team, whatever your team is. You've got people that want you to succeed. I mean, think about that. When I started my construction company in California, they didn't throw me a party and five contractors gave me plans to jobs and say, why don't you take this job? Welcome aboard. It was competitiveness. It's free enterprise. They're trying to beat you out of a bid. In fact, the last job I ever bid on, the five guys who bid against me, all of them were guys that worked for me as apprentices, and I taught them the trade. And they turned around and became my competition. In this business, you have an immediate mentorship program. Because whether you know it or not, your sponsor in this business wants you to succeed more than anybody in your life. Anybody. Why? Because your success is their success. That's one of the powerful parts about this business. Ask anybody that you know that owns their own their own business, how many people when they started spent all their time training them and teaching them to be successful? Because if they did that, they had to have been in that industry. And if they're in that industry, they're not going to create a competitor. In this business, there's no competitors. There's teammates. And that's a powerful part that we have in relational marketing. You get to learn from the best. They hold nothing back. If I was you, I'd get off this call. I'd send a text to my sponsor and I'd say this, tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. I don't care what it is. You tell me what I need to do. Right? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to build this business. You tell me what to do and I'll do it. Why? Because you know they're going to give you the best information. They're not going to give you, well, let me, let me tell you, I'm going to give you some, oh, oh, let me give them some false information. They can wander around 40 years like Moses trying to figure it out. No. You know, what I'd say is, you know, I used to tell people in my downline, don't do anything for the first time without checking up line. Well, what does that mean? It's real simple. That means if you got something new and creative you want to try, it's, we're not saying don't try it, but just call somebody and say, hey, do you think this is a good idea? Because with all the years experience that people have had in Beachbody already, if you add them all together, somebody might have already tried it. And if they did, guess what? They're going to tell you. Yes, it worked. No, it didn't. So we have immediate attention to our success, immediate attention to our business. My sponsor taught me the business. For one year, he worked in my group. He spent time with me. He taught me my business. Twelve months later, my business was bigger than his. I outgrew him in 12 months by him helping me. That's the power we have in this business that doesn't compare to anything else out there. Point number five. Seniority means nothing. Seniority means nothing. How long you've been in means nothing. There could be somebody on this call that got sponsored in this business yesterday and beats a lot of the successful people in this business right now to 15 star diamond. And I saw that. And I'm a competitive enough person that when I went to my first function, it was about 15,000 people there. And I saw people on that stage and I saw what level they were at. I said, I'm going to pass them. Now, you know, maybe that was a little cocky. I didn't tell anybody that, but I believed it because I just made a decision. There was no seniority. I didn't have to wait my turn to become successful. If you're out there today and you're waiting permission to succeed, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you right now. You have permission to succeed to whatever level you want. We don't have to wait for anybody. That goes back to, again, it depends on you. How big a piece of this pie of this company do you want? How much success do you want? Are you willing to implement the game plan? Are you willing to do every day what it takes to build this business? Then there is no seniority. Seniority exists in normal business. Seniority exists in pyramid structures like corporations, where if you're at the bottom, you wait your turn to get to the top if you ever get there. So it doesn't matter. You can get in. You can have people with more talent, more ability, better looking, more education. You know what? Meaningless. What do you want? When do you want it? Seniority in this business means nothing. Most established businesses out there, if I open a cleaners and there's three of them down the street that have been here for five years, that's seniority. I got less of a chance of succeeding. Not in this business. So again, take notes, sit down with someone you know and compare these points. Number six, you choose the level of success and income that you want. No one determines that for you. You're not creating a resume and asking for a job. This isn't a job. It's your business. You own it. You don't work for anybody. You work for yourself. So you determine it. You know, you don't have a boss that says, well, you can make this much and we'll give you a 6% increase in, in, in income this year. And if you're lucky, this will happen. That'll happen. You choose. What do you want? When do you want it? Okay. What you want to raise? Go get it. There's none of you on this call that couldn't decide that we're going to, I'm going to increase my income 25% in the next 90 days. I'm going to increase my income 50% in the next 90 days. I'm seeing coaches right now double their income in 90 days. Where can you do that in any company? I ran a construction company for seven years. Every year, I just hoped that next year I could make as much as I did this year or maybe a little bit more, but I had no control over that. We absolutely own that ourselves. We have absolute control over what we want to do, where we want to go, and how fast we want to grow. That belongs to us. I know for some of us, that's scary, right? We think, God, that's kind of scary. It depends on me. Absolutely. Because sometimes we have an excuse. Well, if I only had a shot, if somebody didn't, if that person just liked me more, if I just had a better position in my business or my company, 
you know what? That's all hogwash. You don't, none of that applies here. It's you. What do you want? When do you want it? Number seven, part-time, less risk. This is huge. Nobody's telling you to quit your job to build this business. I worked all night as a cop, all day in construction for three years. At the end of three years, I quit both those jobs and it was making more money part-time in my business than I was full-time in those two time two jobs. But no one had to give that up. You ask any business owner you know to say, did you build your business part-time or full-time? They'll go full-time, like let's say 100 hours a week, and I've been doing it five years and I'm still doing it 100 hours a week. We're talking about a business that you literally can build part-time. In other words, you don't put 100% of your time in, you put 100% of your effort in. So if you sat down with me today and you said, I got 15 hours a week to build this business, I will show you how you can succeed in 15 hours a week if you're 100% committed to those 15 hours. All right? So it's not how much time you put in, it's the quality of time that you put in. But you know, most people can't start their own business because there's too much risk. What am I going to do? Take all my savings and throw it out there? Do you know that 8 out of 10 businesses fail the first year in the United States? 8 out of 10? And people know that. So they're afraid to take a shot. They want to do it. 9 out of 10 want to own their own business. But you know what? They don't do it because they don't want to take a shot at it because they're afraid. What am I going to do? What if I fail? Most of the people you know that have started their own business, they're gutsy people because there was no guarantee. Right? Is there a guarantee in this business? It's you. Right? If you bet on you, that's the guarantee. There's no other guarantee for you. I can't promise you you're going to be a 15-star diamond. I can promise you the opportunity to do it. I can promise you the game plan. I can promise you the, the greatest products in the world. I can promise you the greatest mission in the world. I can uh, promise you the best field in the world, obesity. You know, what's going on with, with, uh, with the problems of health. Those are, those are great opportunities for you, but I can't make you succeed in this business. But you don't have to give up anything. You're just giving up a little more time. Small investment. So that's what you match up that up with anybody you know. Just say, hey, let me sit down and talk to you about your business. Did you start it part time? What kind of risk did you take? Are you kidding me? I, gave, I, I, I risked everything. I could have lost my home. I could have lost everything. I had to sign everything off to start this restaurant, or whatever. Not in our business, you guys. Not in this business. Point number eight, residual income. This is powerful. Here's the difference in residual income and regular income. Regular income, you trade time for money. Residual income, you invest your time. There's a huge difference. When I built my business at the end of the first year, I was making $50,000 a year. Now, I didn't start January of the next year at zero and tried to make 50 again. My 50,000 was established and in place because the business was there, the volume was there. I started my second year at an income of 50,000 and it went up from there to almost 200,000. Because why? Because I had invested those hours. Those of us that work in jobs, and I'm not here to put down jobs today, but I want you to know those people that work in jobs, they trade time for money. They put in their hours, they get paid for it. The problem is how many hours do we really have? And the problem is where's the end to that? Until you come to a point where you get involved in an industry. Kiyosaki talks about it, the B quadrant. Place that works, makes you money while you're sleeping. In this business, we can do that because it's driven and built in the hearts and the minds of people. When you go to sleep at night, you have people in your downline that don't sleep. Because they're just working their business. That grows your business. People, as we team up together, we create residual income because it's built on the lives and the hearts of people. What an incredible concept. The people you bring in your business are not building it for you. They're building it for them. It's their motivation. It's their excitement. It's their DNA. It's their passion. It's their dream. That's what's building it. But you grow because you're one of the ones that help mentor it. You've been involved. You've helped them build it. You know, I took a year off in my business, one whole year after I'd been involved for about six, seven years. My kids were born. I took a year off. I didn't do anything. I didn't make a phone call. I told everybody, I'll see you. I'm taking off for a year. Traveled around the world. Did unbelievable things with my kids and my life. And you know, when I came back, my income had increased almost 40%. Where can you do that? Challenge anybody you have with that in their business. They can't leave it. I left my business construction company once for one week. One week. I was building this gigantic house. It was about 15,000 square feet. It had a giant timber roof, big beams. They were all rough beams. The sheeting that was supposed to go on the roof was what was called rough side. It had rough side, one side, smooth the other, called shiplap. It was like a tongue and groove. And that was supposed to be faced down the rough side. When I was on vacation, my foreman that was running my job forgot to put the rough side down, put the smooth side down, and nailed it off with a nail gun. I came back and it cost me, the, the owner said, no, I wanted the rough side down. The guy screwed up, change it. By turning the material off, what it took me to order new material and redo that roof, it cost me $30,000 because I took one week's vacation. Most people that own businesses, they can't leave because it's not the same unless they're there. 
Your business is in the hearts and the souls and the passion of people. It's their dream, their business. So we create residual income, walk away income, which allows you the freedom of what time and money together, which no business in America will allow you to have. Point number nine, exponential growth. Your hours are multiplied. You put 10 hours in, you got 10 people putting 10 hours in, that's 100 hours, right? That's the power. It's a real simple explanation. You know, your time is duplicated in the lives and the time of other people. Now, you're going to work to earn that. You're going to build relationships with those people to earn that. But still, the exponential growth is what takes a business from 500 people in a year to 5,000 in two years. Why? Because people are driving their own business if they own it. So your hours get multiplied. I only had 168 hours a week as a business owner. I couldn't get any more than that. I could only spend so many in because I had to sleep sometime. And so my time was limited. Anybody who owns their own businesses is limited by hours. In your business, you know how you increase your hours of, of growth in your business? You bring somebody else in with a dream and you help them decide how many hours they're going to work. You ask them what they want, when they want it, and you help them have it. Number 10, you get to pick your team. I love this part. Go out and pick your team. Who do you want on your team? Who do you want to grow with? Who do you want to be part of your team? How many people out here on this call do they work with people they don't like? How many people on this call work for people you don't like, don't care much about, don't even like hanging out with for eight or 10 hours a day? Not in this business. You get to pick your team. It's like somebody comes to you and says, hey, we get, we're starting a new NBA team. You can have any players you want in the NBA. Who do you want? You know, I'll take LeBron. I'll take Kobe. You get to handpick. And somebody asked me the other night when I was sharing this on a rhino call, they said, did you ever turn anybody down? I said, absolutely. I've sat down with people and I've spent half hour with them and said, you know what? This isn't really going to work out. Because I saw they were arrogant. I saw they had, they had, they, they were people of lack of integrity. Just the way they acted, I go, I can't work with that person. And so, therefore, you got to handpick who you work with in this business. And you know what? Some of the, some of you get fooled. Michael Jordan always said, I read a quote of his the other day where he said, you can never tell the heart of a champion until the champion has to compete. And then the heart comes out. So the greatest talent in the NBA doesn't make them the greatest. What, the greatest talent in life doesn't make people the greatest. The greatest talent building a business doesn't make them the greatest. You know what does the heart? and their dream, and their goal, and what they want to do. I want to find players like that, and that's what you're all looking for. 30 players like that will build you a multi-million dollar business. 30 players like that with heart and soul. I don't care if they're truck drivers. I don't care what they do for a living. I don't care what their background is, where they want to go. You find yourself some players like that. You get to pick them. You get to pick your team. Point number 11, you're building a business for the next generation. You ask 8 out of 10 people in America today, would you like your children to take over the company you own? And, you know, most of them would say, heck no. I would never want them to go through what I'm going through. I guarantee you, you go to some, you go to some of the people out there like the Fitzgeralds or the Hudgens or the Morals and you ask their, you ask those leaders, you know, you ask them, would you love your children to be in this business and own this business? You know what they're going to tell you? Absolutely. I would love them to be a part of this. They are a part of this. So you're building something for the next generation. You know, you're creating significance for your own personal family. In your job, you spend 40 years building something to make money so you can live your life and you and there's nothing there for your kids except maybe hopefully something left at the end. In this business, every day you build it, you're investing in the lives of people, but you're investing in your own family for their, for your kids. Because see, you put your business, you own your business, and, you, and that, that's your business. It's your family business. If something happened to you tomorrow as the head of your family, your business, your checks aren't going to stop. You don't have to go to an office and try to figure out to do what you were doing because they don't know how to do it. You know why? Because most of them would, it's a very simple business, but more than that, you've got people. I had a guy in my business, one of my top leaders, pass away. He was 42 years old. He died of a massive heart attack. You know, his business grew 40% the next month because everybody in his downline was so excited about helping that family to grow. It felt bad. And so his business grew when the man was gone. And so the, 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 he has built something for the next generation. Point number 12, your business is based on effort. You work and you're rewarded. There's nothing political. You don't have to like the person. You don't have to be nice to a certain person. You don't have to try to figure out who you need to get to know. This is on your own effort. For some of us, that's a big challenge because that scares us. Because we look back in our life and we feel like our life's been average for a lot of us. We look back and we don't have a lot of successes. And we don't have a lot to reach back for. Sometimes when I'm sitting down with someone, I said, reach into your past and grab some of the successes and pull them forward. And then look at some of those and that'll give you confidence moving forward. And some of these people have looked in my eyes and said, Greg, I don't have a lot of those. But you know what? They're still, they tell me when we sit down that they're that, D, they're that DNA person. They knew that someday, some way, they were going to do something great with their life. Then I said, let's get down and let's set up a plan to move forward. Let's put effort moving forward because, you know, for all of us, the struggle is less painful than regret. Struggle is less painful than regret. So let's face the struggles for a lot of you out there. The effort in this business has a lot to do not so much with the work ethic and the work action as it has to do with you. 
and believing in yourself and believing that you can do great things with your life if you just make that decision, that you get out of the stands, onto the field, and in the game. And I know that's for a lot of you, that's what you need to do. See, most businesses aren't based on effort. I worked harder than anybody in construction. Did I have the biggest company? No. Did I have the most successful company? No. But nobody outworked me. I gave everything I had to that business. Out of control. Out of the control of my employees. What do they do? They're making mistakes. All the things I've worked in. This business is based on my effort. My belief in myself. My belief in my dream. The DNA. And where I think I can go with my life. Number 13. The larger your business gets, the less effort you have to put in. You're building yourself something you literally could walk away from if you chose to. For all of us, we don't because this is our sweet spot. This is what we love doing. We wake up in the morning with passion to go out and to share this business and to share our dreams with people. But this business literally, in the beginning, you do a lot for a little, and later you do a little for a lot. And you can trust me when I tell you that. I lived that. I saw it. My first check I ever made in my business was I put in 20 hours a week for the first uh, four weeks of my Amway business. I had put 80 hours of effort in. My, my check that month was $9.35. I'll never forget that. I called my sponsor and said, I think we left some zeros off my check. And he just laughed. He said, no, nah, in the beginning, you do a lot for a little. And later, you do a little, a little for a lot. You know what I said? I know which part of that I'm on right now. But I didn't care. I kept it in my wallet, a copy of it. And every time I, I started struggling and wondering if this could work, I'd pull it out. And all of a sudden, the checks were 15000 a month and 50000 a month and 100000 a month. And that 935 always stayed in my wallet because it made me believe and understand. So for all of us here on this call today, the bigger your business gets, you buy freedom, you buy life back. Point number 14, it's an economic proof business. Challenge anybody that you know that own businesses today and ask them this, how's your business doing in this economy? I don't care what business it is, most of them are struggling. Why isn't ours? Why is our business exploding? Why is Beachbody exploding right now? Because we have a product that changes lives. We have a significant group of people that are passionately involved in people's lives. But you know, as much as anything, people are open-minded to a second opportunity they never would have open-minded to before. Everybody said network marketing. Oh my gosh, I'd never get involved in that. Multi-level marketing. All those people are being quieted right now because you know what? They don't have anything else out there. They, you can say, my business has grown 50% in the last 90 days. They said, what kind of business you were in? You know, so let me show it to you. Right? The economy right now drives our business. My most greatest growth in my Amway business in 25 years was the toughest economic times because people open their minds up. You know, today in South Orange County, people are 90 days from their houses being repossessed that drive Mercedes and Ferraris. But they're waking up to the fact that they've got to create a business that pays them long term, one that they can invest time in instead of trading time for dollars. So all of these things right now, the current economy will drive your business. Utilize that. Talk to the people. Be with the people. Reach out to them. Quit trying to prejudge and think you know what everybody's going to do and you know what everybody's doing success-wise. And the people down the street from you need this business. If you believe it, then sit down with them and show it to them. Number 15, success and significance simultaneously. Most of the people you know that own their own businesses, including Craig Holiday, who owned a construction company, I was trying to become successful. Significance in people's lives, there was no time for that. To try to go out and help other people, there was no time for that. Yet there's a book by Bob Bueller called Halftime where he says the first half of our lives, we spend trying to make people successful or trying to become successful. And the second half of our lives, we try to become significant. You, know, you get to the age of 50 and you say, what have I done of significance? And usually significance to us as human beings it always goes back to what have I done in the lives of someone else? So we have our head down, we're driving, we want to put our kids through college, we want to make money, we want to have a nice house. That's all great. That's all success for you. And then there comes a day where we say, where's the significance in my life? Here's what we got in this kind of a business. Listen to this. This is important. We can create significance and success simultaneously. In fact, the more significant you become in the lives of others, the more successful you become. We've got it, you guys. We've got 100%. We've got the very thing a, written, a book was written about because people get displeased at, at age 50 and say, what am I going to do now? And so you sit down with those people and say, look what we can do here. We create success and we create significance simultaneously. We've got it. That's the power of what we're doing in this business every day. If you get it, if you get the whole story, if you understand what I'm talking about today, significance and success. How significant are you every day in the lives of the people in your downline? How significant are you every day by getting up, going out and being alert to life and meeting people that need what you have and your belief in this business? And number 16, it's one of my favorites. We can't fail. We will never fail in this business. And let me tell you why. Because our business is based on a 2,000 year old truth that says this, you give and you receive. You give and you receive. There's no doubt about it. If you give, you receive. That's a natural law. That, that's the way it works. You sow seed and you reap a harvest. You sow seed and you reap a harvest. If you understand our business, every single day, 
you're what? You're giving, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving. You go out and you get involved in people's lives. You believe in them. You tell them they can do it. You encourage them. You take them when they're down and you lift them back up. Sometimes they jump on your back and you're running with them. Sometimes you're running alongside of them. But yeah, you're that person in their life because you give and you give and you give as you build a gigantic downline. The top leaders I work with around the country right now in this business, I love them. They're the most passionate, unbelievable people I've ever met because they're givers. They understand give and you shall receive. But you know what's amazing? They don't give to receive. They just give. But yet the reception comes. In the same way with sowing seed, you sow seed, you reach out, you show the business to people. Some say yes, some say no, some are the right people, some are the wrong people. And you don't worry, but you just keep giving every single day. And that law has to come back to you. It's 2,000 years old. It's a law of the earth. It's a law of the truth. It's a truthful law. Give and you shall receive. That's why this business can't fail. That's why you can't fail if you become that person. So as we look at these 16 points today, hopefully you've been able to take notes and, and write them down. But if you take them and if you just look and say, let's take any business in America, whether it's a storefront, whether it's a I don't care, construction company. I don't care what kind of business it is. Private investigator. It doesn't matter what it is. And you just go through with them and sit down and say, let's just match up your business. Let's look at number one. Let's look at number two. And you sit down with those people with an open heart and you challenge them about what you've got and what this business is doing in your life, in the lives of other people. I'm going to tell you right now, you will sponsor a whole bunch of those people because all, all you've got to do is care enough. Because remember, it's not about you. It's about them. Rick Warren says that every Sunday at church, it's not about you. It's not about you. I just started reading for the, about the fourth time the book called The Purpose Driven Life, and the first chapter is all about that. It's not about you. If you understand that, and you understand the power of relational marketing, you understand the power of this business that, that you have, then there, you are sitting at a place right now where how big a piece do you want? How, how high up do you want to climb the mountain? You know, what are your dreams? What do you really, really want to do with your life? You wake up every day alert to life excited about where you're going, knowing there's appointments waiting for you every single day as you move forward, understand the power of the business you have, that nobody can touch this business. I believe everybody in the country should be in. I'm smart enough to know not everybody's going to get in, but everybody should be in. And when you understand that, then you have no problem showing this business to anybody because you know what? It's what you should be doing. I was talking on a call for Robert Hudgens last night on his rhino call. And we were talking about people challenge you about network marketing. And this one girl was saying how she's kind of afraid they're going to ask me if it's network marketing or multi-level marketing. And she said, what should I say? And you know what I said? Of course it is. What else would I do? What else would I be doing? There's nothing else out there that can touch this business. So many times we shrink back from that, ask that question. Is it multi-level marketing? Is it network marketing? And you know what our attitude should be with a big smile on our face? Absolutely it is. Why would I be doing anything else? There's nothing else that can touch this business. You want to know why? Let's sit down and I'll show you. And you can walk them through these points and say, is there anything out there that gives me the opportunity to change my family and my life like this business? Get up every day and live it with passion. Get out of bed, drop your feet on the ground and, and decide, how am I going to live my day? What kind of attitude am I going to have today? I'm going to own my life. I'm going to own my attitude. And I'm going to move forward. Because I'm going to tell you right now, why is Beachbody the most powerful business? It's the only network marketing company that spends over $100 million branding and marketing products. They have no sales quota. They're the only company that gives your customers. They're the only company that markets to your customers. They're the only company that gives you leads to build your team. There's easy qualifiers. Hey, bring in two coaches, sign them up, and you get customers. The company takes care of 100% of sales transactions. The company sets you up with professional websites, including a back office, which tracks your business. There's no inventory to purchase. It's low cost to get started, low risk with 30-day guarantee buyback. It's a ground floor business. We've got 26,000 coaches. It's a joke. We're going to be at 100,000 before too long. P90X is the number one infomercial in insanity, number two infomercial in the country. We're going international. We have a huge market. And every day, we have advertising in the newspaper, on television, and everywhere about the obesity problem in America and that $86, million, $86 billion a year is spent on fitness. Why are you in this business? Because the time has come. The destiny is here. How big a piece do you want to be? How big do you want to be? How successful do you want to be? Next year at Summit, are you going to be in the audience or on stage? That's what you got to ask yourself. So I just want to tell you, it's been a great time sharing with you guys again today. I look forward to next week's call. Next week's call is going to be, what's a leader? Ten points of leadership. In our road to performance of excellence, we need to learn what it means to be a leader. And next Can you guys hear me? You guys can unmute yourself. So he's got, he's got eight of those recordings. He, that was from...
two years ago, and he did a call each week for eight weeks on different topics. So if you guys liked what you heard and you guys want to hear more from him, I got, uh, I got the rest of the recordings. Why don't we open it up? I know it's, uh, it's late, so you guys can just drop off and you guys got to go. But for the rest of you, if you guys want to stick around and uh, want to share your favorite point or ask any questions or anything like that, let's do it. But if you guys got to take off, go for it. Thanks for getting on, guys. Hey, guys. All right, who wants to share their favorite point? I will. I'll it's put my money on Sarah Corbecki. Hey guys, can you hear me? It's Marie. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys, do you guys know how to unmute yourself? Marie's trying to talk. I'm muted. Sorry. I can unmute, but the Miami Heat game is blasting in the background, so I might be muting it again soon. <laughs> Marie, you can go, I can hear you. Murray, we can. I can hear you. Yeah. It says she's muted. Oh, on the she's phone. muted. Oh. <laughs> she's muted. Yeah, I just. I Is that phone. better? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, I just wanted to say that my favorite part was is about buying your freedom, <laughs> because you know I, I've been teaching for ten years, um, you know, with a master's degree, and I'm miserable. So <laughs> I'm just excited about working really hard to get out of it because I hate my job. But I'm not happy. Sorry, I'm crying. It's a bad day. <laughs> but I just like that part because, you know, I love this business and I just want to take it all the way. So, I don't want to go cry. No, I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> I feel stupid. But I just, I just hate my job. So, and I love Beachbody. So, you know, I just thought that was great because it really made me think about, you know, what I was doing. And, um, Keep it going. So, Great. I like. <laughs> awesome. I was a teacher. I totally understand. Even though I love the kids, I I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I teach high school. No, I teach high school to at-risk kids, and um, it's it's awful. So you just invest so much into that. You know, going to college for eight years, seven eight years, and you know, it's just it's just a lot. So, um, I love this business and. You know, I'm trying to reach for that success, plant those seeds every day, and, you know, I just look at it, like, I honestly, you know, have a picture, like, when I get up in the morning that, like, makes me think about reaching those goals, and I just want to get that freedom, <laughs> so. All right, Alyssa, you talk now. <laughs> Good job, sis. Okay. Someone else can talk. Yeah. Mary, don't, I, my mom's on this phone, like call here and I used to cry to her every day that I hated yeah, I just cried to my mom and hung up <laughs> <laughs> I was so miserable and the only thing that got me up and going every day was knowing I had this in the back of my mind right and, you know seeds every single day for two years that some way I would be able to get out of what I was doing yeah. and I and literally I would call my mom crying every day as I was getting in the car that's how I, I have a three-year-old and you know I hate dropping them off at school and then going to work there I'm just like I don't make any money I'm not appreciated and I come home I'm like what am I doing so um you know I just keep that in the back of my mind I thought this call really you know hit my heart with what he was saying because it it really re-motivated me more than I already am to keep that fire going and fight for what I want while helping others change their lives. It's just really powerful. So I'm emotional. <laughs> yeah. I love I love that. Awesome. So, Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna share my favorite point. Um, my favorite point was you get to pick your team and his quote when he said, you can never tell the heart of the champion until they get up to compete. And when he said that he's like actually told people that it's just not going to work out because I feel like I've had a hard time having multiple coaches quit and having people in my business that weren't like me. So that really gave me the confidence to go search for the people that I really truly do want to build this business with. So in a couple of years, like we're all standing, you know, me and my team are all standing here together. People that have the passion and drive like I do, not wasting my time on people that don't have the heart that I do. 
That was my favorite point. Awesome. Anybody yeah. else have a favorite point? Cricket, cricket. <laughs> Um, I'll share mine. I think it was when he was talking about building your business for the next generation because my little girl's going to be a coach. She recorded a video of herself the other day after she saw me doing it. And in there she says, I'm going to be a coach like my mom. So yeah, we're ready. Just 14 more years. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's super cute. Yeah, that was definitely mine. 2030. <laughs> Ella and your daughter can be on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> on the cruise, there was like a group of kids. They were probably like 13 or 14 going around. And like the last night, they all dressed up as like the top 10 coaches. Oh, yeah. So like, and it was all, all – the. I think there was like one guy in the top 10 coaches this past year. So like all the guys that were like 13 and 14-year-olds were dressed up as girls to be part of the top 10 coaches. <laughs> They were talking about how they uh, they can't like own their own business yet, but like their parents have signed up, like the grandparents, mm -hmm. for their spot to like take over eventually. And they're already like handing out Shakeology samples to their friends, parents, and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. That's cute. Um, my favorite my favorite point was the one about everybody kind of being on the same team because at my old job, it was always, there was like two, two approaches. You either kind of slough off and try to fly under the radar, or if you put yourself out there and you excel at what you do, your coworkers and even your boss will met, might say things behind your back to make themselves look better so that you don't get promoted above them. And this business, there's none of that. Everybody's success benefit it benefits everybody else so everybody is going to help you as much as they possibly can and that is like the biggest difference for me and that's something that i just love about this business and this opportunity i'm excited every day to get in there and see what people are doing and i know that they're the same for me so it's a it's pretty cool pretty unique opportunity yeah pat i think i was number four like uh that i wrote it's like immediate your immediate upline support and mentorship like sometimes your sponsor, your sponsor wants you to be more successful than, than, than they are. And sometimes I, I, I feel that now, like when I, when I hear one of my coaches say they got like they sponsor a new coach or they rank advance, like I just feel that, I don't know, like I feel more excited sometimes that they rank advance and got a new coach than I did. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I think that it's awesome that, you know, team boom, like people might not even be expected to come in and see such the support that we have. So. Right. That's cool. Yeah. I remember, I remember like Robert Hudgens, I think said like a year or two ago that it was pretty cool. Like when he got to go up on stage at summit, but he said sitting in the crowd and seeing the people that he's mentored walk across the stage was much more powerful and even better experience than even himself being on stage. So that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, which is pretty cool. I mean, that is, I just don't think you get that in any other type of business or any other type of opportunity. Awesome. Anybody else have a favorite point? I'll go. Um, I like that you choose a level of success in your income that you want. I've been slacking off the past two weeks just because I've had stuff going on. It kind of hit me today because I was getting frustrated and I was like, Nothing's going to happen if I sit back and make excuses. So today I busted my butt and got online and did invites and got some new friend requests and stuff. So I like the fact that I'm in control of my success and my income and stuff and no one else can determine it for me. So today I kind of kicked my butt and got my determination back. Nice. And, and well, I guess we can get the word out now that you're going to be doing that group. Should I tell people about that? Yeah. So I think there's, there's coaches that have gone through coach basics once or twice and they still aren't Emerald yet. And they, so they can't be in the push the diamond groups. So they're kind of like in this middle ground where 
they don't really want to do coach basics a third time, but they can't do the push to diamond yet. And they're kind of in this rut. So Katie hooked up with a couple coaches on different teams and she went through this little, uh, what did you guys call it? Like, uh, it was just like an internship group. It's, uh, for coaches that aren't Emerald. Um, it's, it's like a um, push to Emerald kind of pardon, like a push to Emerald. Yeah, it's, yeah, pretty much. It's like a push to Emerald internship. Awesome. So, so Katie went through that, and she saved all the assignments. And she's going to run a group, I think, the, uh, starting Monday, Memorial Day, which I think is like the 26th. Yeah. And we're gonna, she's going to pick the best 15 assignments, and it's going to be three weeks. And was there like one or two that, like assignments that you remember? Like your favorite ones, just to give them um, an idea. My favorite one that's I got and like the most response for me was posting videos of yourself. That's when I started doing because um, you have there's daily assignments that you have to post on your wall, and one of the days was taking a video of yourself working out, and I did that, and it was like immediate positive response. And I've had so many people come up to me since then or email me saying. I know you're not my coach, but you've inspired me to get off my butt, to get off the couch, and I see you working out. It makes me want to work out. So I've gotten, like, a ton of positive feedback from those videos. So hopefully that'll kind of kick up my business itself too. So Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, keep an eye out for that. For you, for you guys that have coaches or maybe even yourself that have gone through Coach Basics twice – but you're still not Emerald and, uh, or you have coaches that are like that and they're kind of in that rut and they need some kind of like kick in the butt. Katie's going to be leading this group uh, to do that. I think it's going to definitely be perfect for that, for those people right in the middle there between coach basics and push to Emerald. And uh, we'll be posting a lot about that in the next like week and a half leading up to it. Um, Kelly's helping out for sure too. She's going to co-lead with me. Awesome. Yeah. So Kelly Marks is going to help run that as well. Um, and I'll, and I'll be in there too, if that's, if that's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's eight fifty, So I know you guys got to probably take off. Um, does anybody else have any other, like one point or something that they wanted to share or any questions or just any thoughts? Yeah. I'll, I can stick around for another 10 minutes or so. Well, you guys can just drop off as you go. Have a good night, everyone. Night. Night. Anybody have anything? No. Well, I, I had I had one thing. I liked. Uh, um, we can't fail. If you give, you will receive. Give, give, give to your downline. Soy the soy the seed. I think that that was a great point. Yeah. Just keep sowing, keep giving. <clears throat> the natural law, two thousand year old law. <laughs> but I think. I think the big thing with that is like to not, not give to like expect something in return, just give just to give. Um, and what I would say, I would say give your time to the people that it would benefit most. There's a lot of people out there that you are going to try to give your time to that, you know, they're, it's probably not going to benefit them because they're not willing to put in the work. You know, they're not willing to take your advice and, and run with it. So, so be a giver. But give your time to the people that are going to benefit from it the most. Because um, there's people out there that probably just they don't want your help, <laughs> which is kind of discouraging. But there are so many people out there that do. Great call. Great call. Yeah. yeah. There were uh, a couple things that really stood out for me. Uh, a couple of you talked about it already. And it's um, definitely being part of a team. You can choose your team. And that kind of reminded me of a phrase in the 45 second presentation where you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. I think that's awesome. Um, you talked about if you don't have $40 to get in this business, you've been working your job for what, 10, 15 years, doesn't matter. If you don't have $40 and you're working full time, you should really take a look at what you're doing <laughs> and what you're doing wrong. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and lastly, he, he spoke about how much, uh, Beachbody puts into branding and for what it costs to be a coach like $15 a month for everybody that you talk to to be familiar with P90X they may not recognize Beachbody but they know P90X um, is, is worth every penny of that $15 yeah it's true 
Yeah, and I, I remember Pat used that lot. Like when we do th did three way calls, and people said, oh, "I don't have like the forty dollars." Like when I first did three way calls with him, he'd be like, "If you know, if you don't have the forty dollars, like maybe that's a, a great opportunity for you to in invest into this into this business." <laughs> I'm like, ah! but I'm glad he said that because sometimes I say that now, and people are like, "Yeah, you're right," you know. Yeah, I'll say like, "You don't have forty dollars." I've been looking for someone like you for a while. I got, I got something for you. <laughs> That's crazy though. I mean, it's true. I mean, if you, if you've been working, even if you've been working for five years and you don't have forty dollars, then you gotta, you gotta change it up. You know? I don't have forty dollars. <laughs> no, I didn't. My sister gave me forty dollars to sign up. Like, isn't that sad? <laughs> No, I been seriously go to like a huge university for like seven years and I don't have $40. Like what? How embarrassing. I mean, I have $40 now, but still. <laughs> anyways, because of just, body, right? <laughs> how embarrassing. It's true. It's funny. Yeah, like, I it's people's excuse. Like and I tell them like, you, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're, you're going to keep having what you have. If you want something different, you got to do something different. Simple as that. Hey. Cool. Anybody else have anything? Nothing. All right. I'll, uh, the, I'm going to post that. I think the recording of that is already in the coach group. I put it in there like last week or two weeks ago in the files tab. So it's a file that will always be in there. So you don't have to search for it. Um, I'll also put it on the, uh, for you guys that don't know, there's a, there's a file called team boom calls. And I always put the recording each week in there too. So I'll add it to that as well. But uh, thanks for getting on guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good rest of your night. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Boom. 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 Boom.